Hello all, it is I, your internet uncle Yatsu, grinding away here on the Third Age. Still. Uh, <laughs> I am on my last plate of hefty red meat stew, and so I decided it was time to make some bark bread. Oh look, it's actually... It's actually light outside. Uh, it has been rift activity high all evening, so good thing we finished a little safe space for me to grind away in. Uh, I moved, oh yeah, I moved the stuff from the main archive, I don't know, crane room, I guess. Uh, I moved it mostly inside. The silly tables, which I completely forgot I owned and could have really used last time, are now just stacked up here in the basement. Um, it's fine. I was gonna switch this out, or maybe switch out the ones in the, um, switch out the ones in the, whatever this is, the pottery shack. <laughs> <laughs> words apparently not for me today um yeah I was gonna switch them out for the ones in the pottery shack but I don't know it, I mean it looked fine but it wasn't I don't know I want the new table in my in my house so that's what I'm getting we are however going to make a bunch of bread oops excuse me there we go Please tell me I have yet. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Light that sucker up. We have a clay oven. We're going to put it to good use. Yeah. Uh, I am going to probably need to get some more pine because today's task, should we choose to accept it, is to de uglify the forge. Our recurve bow stave is still only 34% dry. Oh, so we have a minute to go before we can feel comfortable tackling, you know, whatever it is that awaits us downstairs again. Yep, there it is. That's, that's all she wrote. That's all we've got left. <laughs> um, actually, can I? Yeah, let me just put this over here, I guess. Here. We will put this here, we will put these here. We do have some fish, but uh, that's pretty much it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I do have a plan for the forge. I know, I know this is two buildings in a row that I've had a plan for. I don't know how to handle it either, um, <laughs> but it does exist. I looked at a billion pictures of forges online and I found a few things that I liked, so I combined them. Um, because the axle from the windmill has to come in through the wall, it's not going to be a closed space anyway. So I'm going to make a fairly open design. It's got like some, some beams uh, in the front instead of like a proper wall. But it, it's, not a, it's not an enclosed space anyway because you're going to have to have a block missing for the windmill axle. So... Uh, I figure I can do whatever I want. Which also reminds me, isn't there some kind of, yeah, arid packed dirt? What is the difference between packed dirt, which is just dirt, I see, and arid packed dirt, which includes sand? Is there a difference? Does not fall and does not grow grass. Well, yes, I know. Yeah, there doesn't really seem to be a difference, just the texture. Hmm. I was gonna use that for my floor. I guess we'll figure out. I already have a bunch of like regular packed dirt, so we'll probably just stick to that. For the moment, let us bake this bread. It is just past 12.30. I seem to have gotten 28 of my 32 loaves baked on uh, one firing of the clay oven. Unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, it seems we're 
too cold to bake these loaves. I'm just going to leave them there. If I get one set of absolutely charcoal bread, uh, I'm not going to be too worried about it. I really don't think it's going to do anything. I think it's just going to be dough, which does make me sad, but that's how it goes. Uh, we now have 28 loaves of bread. The birch ones actually look pretty nice, don't they? The pine one looks like... Not sure if I would eat that, but <laughs> it's still kind of cute. So uh, as you can hear, we do have a variety of friends downstairs, none of whom I actually invited. Yeah, so we're going to have to. Oh, oh, I see. We have even more down here. What's wrong with you guys? There you go. Uh, as you can see, I did have to dig out a little bit for the quern that I put in the pot pottery shack. Um, I thought we had one, but no, we did not, so... Yeah, at least you brought something for me, you guys, but I still don't like it. In fact, I'm gonna take that... out of there. Eh, I mean, they can still pretty much get up the ladder like that, but maybe that'll prevent a few of them from getting too far up the ladder anyway. There we go. That is why we have multiple sets of trapdoors, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> All right. Now that we have calories with which to sustain ourselves. Sorry if the neighbor's screaming <laughs> gets onto to my recording. <laughs> They're having a great time back there, those kids in that backyard. Um, today's task is to fix this gestures at everything. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Okay. The, the one forge that I really liked online is basically this way. It's like landscape orientation, but this building obviously is, is portrait orientation. So we're going to try and sort of keep the footprint of the building as it is. Um, in fact, I, I'm, basically gonna leave a lot of this where it is. <laughs> um, the the health hammer will be moving sort of over here and the forge and stuff is gonna be in the back. Uh, I, I know I talked last time about putting the windmill on the front of the building, uh, but I think it's just gonna be too physics breaking for me to have to walk through the windmill in order to get to the front door. So I think instead <laughs> we're gonna put the windmill on the side of the building. Uh, which will be very convenient because it'll let me just bring the windmill in, you know, from the side with just a straight axle. I won't need these angle gears or anything like that anymore. I'll just have three axles and boom, there's the health hammer. Um, so task number one, I guess, is to absolutely destroy all this slate gravel. Temporarily, not the forge. Okay. There we have one physics-defying roof. Um, <laughs> I think I'm just gonna... Obviously, it's coming down as well, eventually, but I'm just gonna leave it on for now, because it's gonna at least keep the snow off of here. And that is going to improve my life greatly. Here we go. Um, let's see. Ah, here we go. I'm trying to think of like how I can clean out my inventory. <laughs> this is going to get very annoying very quickly. All right. So basically from the front, I want it to sort of resemble that. Uh, we are going to get, there we go, some slate cobble. And I think probably the door is going to move over here, maybe. Uh, we'll get to that in a minute, I guess. Let's see. And I think the building might end up being slightly... Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I want it to be basically the same size as the pottery shack. Um, yeah, let me apparently go get some more... <laughs> some more slate pebbles. <gasps> Did I just see some snow melt? It is officially spring now, the little mod... Uh, the HUD mod says it's officially spring now, so... Oh, I'm so excited. That would be amazing. 
absolutely incredible. <laughs> all right, yeah, give me all your slate stone. Oh, I can put some of this slate gravel back here. I'm not going to need this. Get this out of my inventory. I can't stand gravel. All right. I'm going to take a few of these glacier ice blocks just to use as placeholders for windows. We are going to get proper windows. <laughs> Whoops, give me those back. Thank you. Uh, we are going to get some proper windows, but just not yet. Hi, guys. <gasps> Look, it is melting. Oh, I'm so excited. That's so great. It's still negative 16 outside, but maybe, perhaps one day, we will be able to go outside for more than 20 minutes at a time without freezing our entire ass off. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not I'm still not quite a hundred percent sure how I want to do the front. It's gonna be mostly open with like some um support beams. Oh, come, come on. There you go. Uh but I'm still not a hundred percent sure how I wanna do that. Ooh, look at how it's shiny. Okay, that's cool. The shaders in this game are absolutely stellar. <laughs> All right, so the basic structure is pretty much the same. There are gonna be some windows. Yeah, probably especially over here because this is where the windmill's gonna be. So it's time to rearrange the interior a little bit so that we can figure out what we actually Okay, never mind. It's time to go inside because I'm getting chilly. Then we can rearrange the interior so that we know what we need the exterior to look like. Uh, yeah, the pine dough did not even remotely heat up. That sucks. Can I put fish in a pie? Let's go see if we can get some more. I know I'm still chilly, but let's see if we can go get some more fish out of our uh, out of our tiny little pond, and we'll see if we can make a fish pie. Oh, we have a wide variety of fish. I'm so pleased. Oh, I can put the fish in the pie. I'm so pleased. Beautiful. Great. We will cook that sucker right up. And I still kind of have enough for like... A fair amount of stew. That is great. Yeah, I am... I am one log short and I am extremely irritated about that. <laughs> there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. One fish pie coming up. Look at that, 1100 saturation. Oh, this is gonna be an absolutely glorious dinner. All right, in the meantime, um, there we go. In the meantime, since we're stuck indoors while we're warming up here, I'm going to make a mallet. Hmm. There we go. And we'll get some, there we go, flint wedges. And we will get started on our support beams. Um, I don't, I don't think that this is the vanilla way of making them. I've never actually made them the vanilla way of making them because <laughs> they've been a part of uh, primitive survival or ancient tools rather, sorry, um, for a hot minute. And I've always just done it this way. Basically, you put your wedges on your log and then you hammer them in and you get support beams. Now you can use these to make like wheels and carts, which I haven't done yet, but I definitely want to do. Um, or you stick them in your crafting grid and you get like regular 
support beams um, that you can use the same as the vanilla bean beams rather. Did I just burn my pie? Oh, I'm so mad. I burned my fish pie. Charred. That... Oh. <laughs> this is what happens when you get distracted. Everybody pay attention while you're baking this week. <sighs> because you will end up burning your pies. I'm irritated at myself right now. It's still a good pie, though. What is that? Uh, 1,200... Yeah, 1,242 saturation is nothing to sneeze at. So, I'm not going to be too irritated, but I am I am a little irritated. <laughs> come here, come here. There you go. Uh, I am going to need a lot of pine beams for what I have in mind. So, we might have to take a break mid-episode and go get some more pine logs. Because uh, I doubt this is going to be enough. Okay. And as a matter of fact, you can change them back too. If you have too many support beams and you feel like you need some regular beams, you can just switch that up and put them right back in your uh, crafting grid and just change them back. Okay. I'm going to put some of this in here. In fact, I'm going to put all of it in here for now. Oh, I forgot I had... Oh, I forgot I had all that meat. I should have just made a bunch of pies to begin with. Well, that was dense. That was very dense. Well, like I said, I think we're going to have to go back for some more pine anyway, so <laughs> it may end up that I... Uh, I end up with a lot of more pine pies. Alright, I know it's dark out here, but it's calm, so I should at least be safe. So, we're going to take down the windmill. Oh no, sorry, we were going to rearrange the interior. Yes, we are. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Um, basically, I want... These guys are going to have to move. But I want the forge... Um, come here, sir. Come here. I don't know where you're going, so you're just gonna go there for now because I don't I don't know where I'm putting you really. Here. Uh, here. <laughs> we just have a bunch of like weird people standing in our lawn right now. That's all there is to it. <laughs> here. Oh. Okay. Well. Interesting to note. Very interesting. Okay. Yeah, so we want... It's seven wide. Well, it's going to be somewhere in that area. Uh, and then there's going to be another... It's not obviously going to be made of ice, but it's going to be probably made of granite, actually. Um, and it's going to be for the fire pit. Now let's put you right there. And then pretty much right behind you, I want the anvil. And so then the health hammer is going to be right behind that. Let's see. We need you to be here. Right? Yes, okay, good. <laughs> Oops, not you. Sorry. And we need you to be right... Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Uh, we'll move you in just a moment. Um, here, you need to get out of my way. And we are going to need these. Pardon me, gentlemen. <laughs> Just rearranging everything. That's today's job. Did I? Okay. So we're gonna need... Oh. Here. We're gonna need one. Actually, that's gonna be... We are gonna make a clutch in transmission today because I'm gonna lose my mind if I have to keep 
taking these axles off and then removing them. <laughs> okay, so the helve hammer's actually... We could have it here. We could have it scooted over one. Hmm. I don't know if I necessarily care uh, where it is. I know that that's the wrong place, but I'll, I'll fix it in a minute. I guess I don't necessarily care if it's here or here. I kind of like the idea of it being off center though, because if it's if it's right here, then it's like directly in the center and I'm just like, I don't know. That's too neat and tidy for me, you know? <laughs> All right, so we will move the anvil here. We will move, oops, sorry. We will move the forge right here and we will have our symbolic piece of soon to be granite uh, right there. That way I have it in the forge and then I turn around and boom, it is right there. All right. And then this is going to be where our bucket of water is. Do I have my bucket? No, I left my bucket in the pottery shack. Excuse me, I'm just borrowing this just for a second, please. Hi, gentlemen. Nice to see you again. Here we go, like it was never even gone. And then this we will fix. All right, we'll put some proper slate in there. Actually, the ground's probably not gonna be slate, but we'll fix that in a minute. Okay, all right, so that's pretty much the back of the forge done. Um, I think I'm going to put these here because if I'm roasting something in the crucible and then I'm pouring it into a mold, it's going to be, it's going to be right there. Um, I, what did I do with my... I had... Here it is. I was going to say I had a mold wreck <laughs> that fell off the wall when I so uh, ungraciously <laughs> started started moving all these blocks. Uh, I guess I'd like it here. We have a hammer. We have a pickaxe. Is that really all we have for molds? Wow. Okay. Yeah, we're kind of lacking in the mold department, aren't we? Uh, <laughs> but yeah, then we can... Yeah, then I'll be standing here and I can just pick it up right here and set it down here. Cool, cool. That's going to be very convenient. Time to stuff my face with some more pine bread. And I see I'm getting chilly again, so apparently we're going to have to go back inside for a few minutes. Blah, blah, blah. Negative 22, guys, but it's spring. It's happening. All right. Okay, yeah, it's about 5.30 in the morning. We are once again restored to dawn. <laughs> and now we will need to dig out for the windmill. So we need at least five and then 10 and then 11 spaces. <laughs> Holy cow. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four. Oh my gosh, five. Okay, that's cool. And then one, two, three, four, five spaces. Okay, nice. And then we needed to go at least five spaces down. And in fact, as I discovered in my personal world the other day, we needed to go six spaces down because when it snows, this counts as enough of a block that it will break your windmill when your windmill um, blades hit the snow. They'll snap. And then they'll sit there on the ground and you will lose all your windmill sails because you did not notice in time to go pick them up before they uh, despawned. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Look what I found again. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll have to... I'll have to take care of that. <laughs> this is a deep, deep pit. 
Oh, I love this. I can't lie, I love this. This is the... This is the... I, well, I was gonna say it's the weirdest thing I've ever built. It is not even remotely the weirdest thing I've ever built. Even on this channel, it's not the weirdest thing I've ever built. But it is among the weirder, and I appreciate that deeply. Oh, look. <laughs> okay, well, here we go. Excuse me, wooden toggle. I'll just need to interrupt you for just a moment. There we go. Okay. Look, it's light enough outside. I don't need my lantern. Oh, I'm so pleased. Hello, Mr. Sun. Oh, it's so great to see you again. Seven o'clock in the morning. I love to see it. Okay. Then we're going to come up here and take you down. Bloop. Take all this down because we don't need any of this anymore. Thank you. Uh, and our inventory is too full to pick up all of this stuff. And we are cold again. 20 degrees. I hate it. Yeah, give me my sails, please. Oh no. It's not deep enough. We're gonna have to go one deeper, you guys. Okay. <laughs> well. Excuse me, I gotta warm up first. Alright, time to work fast while we still have the light of day. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Um, is it a is it a width problem? Yeah, I think it is a width problem. Look, I think this is too close. Alright. The good news is that you yourself cannot be bonked on the head by your own windmill. Is it this thing? Is that the problem? Yeah, we're gonna have to lose some of those. But it's all right. We'll survive. Uh, and actually, we are gonna have to lose them right now. <laughs> okay, there we go. Here, try this. No, you still don't like it. Well, you have an entire extra thing down there. Um, do you, do you really need an entire depth? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. It's not over here, is it? Is it? I don't know. Whee! Is that your problem? Yes, that was your problem. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what a terrifying... <laughs> oh, now we have to try and get out of here. What a terrifying sight. Oh, excuse me. Oof. Oh, whoops, sorry. <laughs> I forgot there's no light down here. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Maybe I'll just, uh, maybe I'll just build a basement down here. I'll just, like, get a couple... There we go. Excuse me. Pardon me, let me out. Thank you. Yeah, maybe I'll just uh, do it that way. Hmm. All right, let's put that there. And let's take a peek at our handiwork. Oh, we are going to have to be careful because there is a giant hole right there. <laughs> we might have to put uh, some railings or something there before we end up falling into this pit like a billion times and getting ourselves killed because we're such a klutz. That is thoroughly ridiculous. Congratulations. That is, <laughs> that is thoroughly ridiculous. If your goal was to produce a ridiculous windmill, we have done it. Good job. All right, let me get this out of the way here just so we can kind of see it a little better. There we go. Now we can see it a little better. 
just so that we can fully appreciate how absolutely ludicrous this is. Yes, it's a windmill that's half buried in the ground. What a joy. Okay, <laughs> now we get to finish the building. All right, let's, uh, let's look at a clutch. Actually, let's look at a transmission first. We need two angle gears, which we have now because we don't need them for the windmill anymore. We need fat and resin, we have. We need boards, we don't have. And we need chisel, saw, and hammer. What did it say? Eight boards. Okay, eight boards, hammer, chisel. Uh, what happened to my saw? There it is, saw, fat, and resin. Is it the other way? Yes, it is. Transmission, delightful. And let us also examine the clutch. That's a break, obviously I don't need a break. We're not stopping. <laughs> Clutch. Ah, crap, I need a log. Really? I need a log? Yeah, I have eight sticks. Alright. Oh, whoops. Oh, sorry, sorry, you don't belong there. Here. Get back in my inventory. Okay, we're gonna need those. <laughs> We're gonna need to empty out our inventory a little bit here. And, uh, do I have any logs of any type? I assume it doesn't have to be a walnut log. I just didn't wait around long enough to find out. Uh, I used up all my pine logs, unfortunately, so I kind of think we don't... Have... Those are all close. We don't have any logs anymore. Mm, no, no, no logs of any kind. Okay. And it's negative 17 outside, so I guess if we're going to be chopping down a tree, we better go hurry up. Hi, chickies. It will be summer one day. I will be able to build a greenhouse and get you some proper grain, I promise. Yep, floating snow. Still there. Check. Okay, all right. I ended up with four total larch seeds, so I chopped down four total trees. So we'll put that one. We'll put hammer, chisel, and we are chilly again. Oh my god. All right, you know what's going to happen, actually? We have a fire. We have one right here. We're just going to put it on right here. I refuse to leave. I'm working. <laughs> the weather is just going to have to get out of my way. All right, we have hammer, chisel, saw, boards, sticks. Um, here. Fat and resin, which is the other way around. Clutch. Delightful. Okay. Uh, here, we can put this back on the hammer, chisel, saw. There. Now we're just gonna sit near this fire for a few minutes. Alright, good. We're pretty warm. That's fine. We have transmission. We have clutch. Oh, whoops. <laughs> it doesn't go there. <laughs> There. There. We now have a health hammer we can start and stop as we choose. How amazing. It's absolutely god tier. It's great. All right. I think this episode is feeling a bit long in the tooth, so we will be calling it a day for now. I'm going to move some of this junk off the floor. This place is an absolute mess, and uh, we shall continue our quest to reforge our forge next time. Uh, but in the meanwhile, I hope you all enjoyed your time today. Have a wonderful afternoon. Thanks very much. Bye!